Mistakes are a part of life. We all make mistakes. It's normal. I think that the most important thing that you can get from making a mistake is the ability to recognize that you've made a mistake and learn from it so that you don't make it again. In this video, I'm going to discuss five common mistakes that people make that can really hurt their grades. And these are mistakes that you might not even know you're making. As a quick disclaimer, I want to emphasize that I don't want you to feel bad when you realize that you're making some of these mistakes because chances are you are making some of these mistakes. These are things that are not really talked about and I think they're important. And once you recognize these mistakes, if you stop making them, it's going to drastically improve your performance. The first mistake is not putting in enough time. Now we have to be really careful here and define what we mean by enough time. So back in the day before I was alive, they used to say that you should study five hours for each credit hour that your class is. So for example, a calculus class is typically five credit hours. So five times five is 25. So in that case, you would study 25 hours a week for your calculus one class. Then over the years, they lowered it. They said, maybe do four. And now the typical recommendation that you see is for each credit hour, you should study three hours per week. So if you're taking a calculus class, 15 hours a week should be devoted to that class. If you're taking a college algebra class, which is typically a three credit hour class, nine hours a week should be devoted to that class. So you can see how it adds up pretty quickly. If you're taking 10 credits in a semester or in a quarter, you're expected to study 30 hours a week. That is a lot of time, especially if you have a job, if you have responsibilities, maybe you have a significant other, maybe you have kids. That is a considerable amount of time. And so it's not something that most people do, but yet it's the recommendation. And the reason is it's hard, right? It's hard to learn. Math is difficult. It takes a lot of practice and it takes a lot of time. So how can you solve this? How can you find more time for your studies? Well, it basically means that you have to take away time from other things in your life. The second common mistake that students make, and this one is really big, it's not putting in enough quality time. What I mean by quality time is you need focused study time. You need to be in a place where you don't have distractions. You just have you and whatever you're working on, whether it be a book that you're reading and doing problems from, a worksheet that you printed off the internet, maybe you're doing online homework, but you don't wanna be texting, you don't wanna be checking your email, you don't wanna be watching YouTube videos, you wanna be focused on reading and doing math problems, right? You wanna do math and read math. And in my opinion, that's the best way to learn. Videos are great, I'm a big fan of videos myself, but I do think it's better to read and actually do math problems. You want to be active, you want to be an active participant in mathematics. So put in quality time, don't get distracted, and make sure you have focused study time. What often happens is you'll have people who will study, you know, 12 hours a week, and they'll say, hey, I studied 12 hours this week, and I'm taking, you know, um, a four credit hour class, so four times three is 12, and I still don't get it. What's wrong with me? Maybe it's the quality of your study time. Try to improve it. Try to create more focused study time. One thing I do is I set a timer. I have a little timer and I don't have it here. I'd show you. I'll try to put a link in the description. I use it all the time for my studying and I set the timer to a minute and I study for an hour. I read for an hour. I do problems and it's just a really good way to make yourself focus for an hour. Now imagine if you if I use that timer for 12 hours in a week, you know, 12 little sessions. Imagine how much mathematics I would learn. It's pretty impressive when you really increase the quality of your study time. The third common mistake that students make is not understanding the learning process. So maybe there's an easy concept and you're able to hear about it in class or read it in a book or watch a video and then you just get it. But most math is not that way. Math is not very simple for the most part. Most things that you learn are 
pretty involved and it takes a significant amount of time and effort to learn. So realize that it's going to take some work on your part. You might have to do several examples of the same thing in order to start really understanding what's happening behind the scenes, why things work certain ways, and you know how to recognize patterns in certain problems so that you learn how to do them. As a concrete example, if you're learning integration techniques, you can't just do five or six integrals and get it. No, no, no. You want to do lots of integrals involving lots of techniques together so that you can really start recognizing patterns and learning how things work. The next common mistake that students make is not reading the textbook. And I think that this is one that I feel like, I feel like society, if there is, if I can blame society, <laughs> I'm going to blame it here. Um, I feel like society is kind of responsible for that. So back in the day, you know, People bought the physical textbook. You know, they would buy the book, they would do problems from the book, therefore they would read the book. Nowadays, most colleges use online homework and it's easier because you have online homework that's graded for you and the homework has all kinds of features and there's all kinds of wonderful things that come with online homework. But there's also a really bad thing, it's that you only get the ebook. So having the physical book is really important. Reading the physical book is really important. You're going to get a deeper understanding by reading the physical book. The problem is it takes extra time to read the physical book, right? You want to be able to do the homework. You want to be able to go over your notes. And then you're also making time to read the physical book. So it helps, okay? It helps. And this is something that most students don't do. I personally did do this when I was in college, but I feel like the shift to online homework has really, really diminished, you know, the use of the physical book. There's eBooks which are great, but it's just not for me. So if you can read the eBook, go for it. I mean, read the book. It's worth it. I think you're going to get a lot from it. The fifth common mistake that students make is not starting the homework early enough. And this is one that students make every single semester. So math is not easy and you're probably going to get stuck. In fact, I would venture to say that you're supposed to get stuck. <laughs> if you're able to just do all of the homework and you don't get stuck, something wonderful is going on up there. Either you have an amazing teacher, an amazing book, uh, I don't know what's going on, but most people, most people get stuck when they're trying to do the homework. So you need to give yourself time to get stuck so that you have time to work through that process of getting unstuck. That's called learning, right? When you actually take the time to figure out a problem and then you work through it and then you do another problem and then you just keep doing the same thing over and over again and you start slowly getting better. You start slowly learning little tricks and techniques and eventually you start learning why things work a certain way. You start recognizing patterns, but all of that takes time. And so if you don't start the homework early, you're not going to have time for that. And it's just not worth procrastinating. And believe me, I am a big procrastinator. I am not one of those people that always had the homework done early. I have known those people and I look up to those people because those people are rock stars. I had a friend once, he was always done early. I don't, I don't know how he did it, but I mean, the dude was amazing. So those are five common mistakes that most students make. These are mistakes that I've made. They're probably mistakes that you've made. And hopefully after watching this video, you're a little bit more aware of these mistakes so that you try to stop making them. And I know that some of these are really hard to overcome. Procrastination is really, really hard to overcome. I think that's something that we all struggle with on a daily basis. But some of the other ones like not putting in enough study time and not putting in, you know, the quality time, hopefully those are a little bit newer to you and Hopefully they've at least made you think about things that you can do to improve your performance. I hope this video has helped you. Good luck and go do some math.